my name is Jennifer Graham. I work with Second Nature Wilderness Programs. Um, we're located in Utah, Oregon, and Georgia. My position with Second Nature um, changes a bit, but basically day to day I do about a third of my time is networking, outreach, letting people know about the program. I helped um, create and implement the parent programming, so I run parent nationwide parent support groups, help with the webinars, and then about a third of the time is being in the field with the young adults and with the students. and. Um, being out there with the staff and bringing people to visit the program. I, I happened upon wilderness, this wilderness therapy that, I, that I'd never even dreamed existed, but it just felt intuitively right. And I probably referred, you know, a couple hundred families to wilderness programs and Second Nature in particular. And, and what I loved about it was that it felt like there was true internal shifts. It wasn't about um, a behavior change that, that was for somebody else. These kids started to feel better about themselves. And I tell parents now, if you wake up in the morning and you look in the mirror and you don't like what you see, you don't make good decisions. You know, none of us do. Um, if you go to school, which is your job as a teenager, and you're bad at it, you don't want to go back. So I, I like that getting back to nature was getting back to ourselves with a, with a very um, talented clinician and kind of a jury of your peers, 10 people that are just like you. And what I realized was now moving from being a consultant to being independent to working with Second Nature was that there was these two camps out there. There was the addiction world and then there was the therapeutic world. And they didn't really mix very well. It was the belief, I think on both sides, uh, erroneously, that you couldn't do great therapeutics in an addiction program coming from there, there and you couldn't do great addiction work in a therapeutic program, that they were separate. And I just didn't believe it. Um, and it was really, really frustrating for me. It was really frustrating. And now that I'm with Second Nature um, and have planned and implemented a lot of our, our recovery work in the last four years, they always did it, and they always did it well. Um, and now we do true recovery in the woods. We do 12-step focused groups. We have staff in recovery. We have therapists in recovery. We have kids. I mean, step one in the wilderness, you know, you, you can't avoid it. You know, you, you look around and you are infinitesimal compared to something greater than yourself. We don't have to fight it. We don't have to, a lot of times when I was working in residential treatment, um, the young people would come up against God in the 12 steps, right? Or I'm powerless. And it just gave them another thing to fight against. And in the wilderness, we don't even, we don't even have to convince them of that or even suggest it more than once because they live it. They live the higher power concept every day. They live the, there has to be something greater than myself and the spirituality aspect of that. And so now I'm really wedded and committed to, and I work for a company that allows this, to really help educate addiction programs, you know, what they might be missing in that and, and how to implement and use wilderness therapy and second nature with their clients before, during, and after so that they can get the best of both. You know, we can't take them to 12-step meetings. We can run them in the woods, but that's, that's what the kids call front country. That's when they come back, right? So we have to prepare them for that. And I, I, really, I really do want to lead the charge in helping people understand that you can get that in the wilderness. You can get true recovery, the beginning of true recovery in the wilderness, and the beginning of a 12-step process and spirituality in the wilderness. So if you or a loved one might benefit, or if you are a clinician and here's where to find us. So um, I'm hoping that some of this touched something in you, and if you or somebody you know, a loved one, um, are looking for an experience like this or just want to know more about it, please look us up on the internet at uh, www.snwp.com. That stands for Second Nature Wilderness Program. Take a look at the website. Um, it's amazing and I hope that we hear from you.